to launch the editor, hover over your emails and click on the edit icon here. The editor will launch in a new tab. Now, let's get acquainted with the main sections and features of the editor. This area is your Canvas and main workspace. It will show all the elements of the particular slide you are working on. The left panel of the editor is devoted to managing your slides and will have an overview of all the slides in the presentation. Let's start by editing text. Select the text box and start typing to change the text. For this text item, you can change its style, size, color, or link it to a website. From the menu, here, you'll be able to add slides to your emails. There are plenty to choose from, and they are all designed specifically for your template. Choose a slide layout that suits your content. There are several ways to change or add images to your emails. Let me show you some of the easiest ones. To change an image, click on it and replace it with one from your computer. You can also add images from the web by copying and pasting them. Just right click on the image that you like, select copy, and when you return to your canvas, press Ctrl and V to paste it. You can also drag and drop an image from your files like this logo. You can duplicate an image or any other item on your canvas by selecting it and then pressing Ctrl and C on your keyboard to copy it. To paste it on the same slide or another, press Ctrl and V on your keyboard. If you want to create a slide from scratch, there will always be a blank one available, like this one. To add a video, you can either click on Media and drag and drop in your MP4 file from your computer, or you can add a YouTube video by copying the link here and pasting it into the media panel with Ctrl and V on your keyboard. Resize any element by dragging its handles. Adding in a live web element is as simple as copying it, and then pasting it to your canvas with Ctrl and V. You can also create a chart in emails by importing your data from an Excel or a Google spreadsheet. To remove an item, select it and press delete on your keyboard or click the bin at the top of the editor. If you'd like to undo your last action, press Ctrl and Z on your keyboard. Navigate through your slides by selecting them and change their order by dragging them up or down. You can remove a slide by pressing the X icon here or access additional slide options. To learn more about how to create a great presentation with emails, visit our support center.